everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video, that means you guys want to see how to achieve this sunset eye look that I created for you guys. And this is also a collaboration with a bunch of amazing makeup artists. And I'm going to go ahead and leave all their Instagram links down below in the description for you guys to go check them out. And they're just so talented and just go give them some love. But we're just going to go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, let's go ahead and get on onto the video, you guys. Alright, so to get started with this look, I'm going to be using my Morphe palettes only. I'm just going to go in between them. I'm going to leave the palettes that I used down below. To act as my primer, I did use my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer to conceal my lid. And then I just set it with some of my RCMA powder. Any translucent powder works fine. Or if you just prefer to use a primer, go ahead. It's not going to kill you and it's going to work either way, whether you use primer or the concealer. I prefer to really like the concealer just because I think it has a better finish and it looks more flawless in my opinion but it's just your preference all right so to start i am going to lay just a straight up white base on top of it and just kind of have that just to kind of enhance make the colors more vibrant so i'm just going to take a very stark white just like that on my morphe e13 brush this is just a nice blending brush. It's a little different shape than the one I normally use, but we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna put that all over the entire lid and everything. And I wanna make sure that it is nice and opaque so that those colors are really vibrant when I lay them down. All right, so now that once you have the white laid down, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of create that purple shadow in the crease area as our transition. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush to lay down the purple. And I'm going to be going in with a very vibrant purple. So this is the purple that I am using. It's very vibrant. It's not too dark or anything like that. I'm just going to tap off some of the excess. And then we're just going to go ahead and lay that into our crease. And then I'm going to go back to my Morphe E13 just to kind of buff that out and drag that up to the brow. Once you have this purple laid down, we're gonna go ahead and do the inner corner. So for the inner corner, I'm gonna lay down that yellow. I am going to take two different yellows and just mix them together. I'm just gonna spray it with some Fix Plus so it's pretty pigmented. So I'm just gonna take those two shades on this BH Cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna spray down that shadow so it is more pigmented. And then we're just gonna lay that into that inner corner gonna switch sides so you guys can see a little bit better and then I'm just gonna press it in I'm not gonna swipe it back and forth okay so now that we have the inner corner set for the moment I'm gonna go ahead and work into the orange and I'm just gonna go back to my 217 by Mac I'm gonna just take this like pinkish orange color just to kind of trans transition the orange from the yellow and I'm just going to take it all the way over so that it helps when we get to the pink. And I'm just going to press it in so it has a little more pigmentation. So now we're going to go on to the orange and I'm going to use a true orange. And this one I am going to spray on a little bit, but first I'm just going to lay it down and then I'm going to spray the second layer. So I'm going to go ahead and take my orange and then we're just going to put it right here in the center of the lid. Now the second layer, I'm going to lay it more towards the right of the center. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray that with my Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to lay it there. Now we're going to be moving on to the pink. And this pink is a nice, bright, hot pink. Almost like a Barbie pink in a sense. I'm just going to tap off the excess. And then we're going to place this on the outer corner of our eye. And then just slowly work that into the orange. I'm going to dip back into that pinkish orange that I showed you guys earlier. And then we're just going to uh, place that here. And then I'm going to go back to the orange and add a little bit more just so these colors are as nice and opaque as possible. And then I'm just going to dip back into that pink one more time. Now for the outer quarter, I am going to dip into a very true purple, you would say. So I'm just going to tap off the excess and then I'm just going to do the outer V. And we're just gonna fix up the pink real quick. And then I'm gonna go back to that uh, violet shade that we had earlier. And then I'm just gonna use this to buff the crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that darker shade. I'm just gonna use this more concentrated brush from Fasanti. And this is gonna be more precise. And we're just gonna focus on this crease. 
And then I'm just going to dip into a very pale yellow. Pale yellow. This is a pale pink. I'm going to dip into this pale pink and just help the transition appear a little bit more. And then for the bottom eye, I'm just going to go ahead and mimic what I did on the top. I'm going to do my eyeliner and eyebrow off camera just because there's going to be separate videos for how to do those things. And eyeliner tutorial will be coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm just going to go ahead and do the lower lid real quick, and then we'll get into the other stuff. And for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and take the same Asante brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and mimic. So I'm just going to start off with that violet purple that we had and kind of lay that down. And then I'm going to dip into that hot pink and just put that like uh, towards the right of center. And then the next one's going to be that orange. And we're just going to do that left of center. And then we're just going to do the yellow on the inner corner. So I'm going to take my yellow. And then I'm just going to take the darker purple and lay that on the outer corner. And I am going to be using another deeper purple after I do my eyeliner and everything. So I'm just going to take that real quick and put this on the very outer corner. So now that we have that set down, I am going to take that deep purple and black and just mix it together on my 212. This is just a nice flat liner brush. And I'm just going to tight line the outer corner real quick with that and just lightly bring it in towards the center. So now that we have the lower lash done, I'm just going to go ahead and do something that I missed really quick. I'm going to go ahead and take this very shimmery golden yellow and I'm just going to take it on this small E36 brush from Morphe and I'm just going to blink the inner corner. I'm just going to spray that with some Fix Plus and then use that as like an inner highlight basically. So now that I have that completed, this basically wraps up the eyeshadow part. I'm just going to go ahead and put on some eyeliner and my brow and pop on some lashes and that's going to complete the look. So give me a few seconds and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, this completes my sunset collab with all the lovely dolls that I will list down below for you guys to so go ahead and check out their Instagram and check out their version of their sunset collaboration in this. So, thank you guys for watching and if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday so be sure to not miss out on those. You guys have a wonderful day, okay guys?